let's go back to the creation of this 8th form. A pattern created by the movement of the bigger Earth, aka the Moon. You have three important cities. Let's connect them with this 8th form. Then in 1250 you have this event, the flooding of our crater, the creation of Antarctica, and our continents, and the recreation of these three important cities. Well, you know my theory, this event was triggered by the movement of the Ark of the Covenant, by the Crusaders. So I was thinking three important cities. Could there be a connection with the different Templar orders? One order for every city. But when I started to investigate, the more I investigated, the more groups were popping up. And when you add the Freemasons, it got even worse. So I thought, well, time for some hot Vlamste logic. Remember, the Templars supposedly were exterminated. So let's start with Jerusalem. Jerusalem, of course, is situated in the state of Israel. You have World War I, where Britain takes control of this piece of land. World War II, the creation of an independent state, Israel. You could say, well, it is the United Nations, or Britain, that created Israel. Okay, but who started the war? Let's have some German history. Bismarck, Wilhelm I, Wilhelm II, von Hindenburg, and of course, Walt Hitler. Iron Cross in World War I, Iron Cross in World War II, and this, of course, is the cross of the Teutonic Knights. Wilhelm I, responsible for World War I. Uncle Walt for World War II. So these two symbols are connected. No. What about this? So you take someone's country. You kill them all. And what's left of them? You put in a concentration camp, and once in a while, you bomb the shit out of them. And when someone is protesting, you call them, or... It's no coincidence you can be locked up for this in Germany. This is what we call Gestapo tricks. Another giveaway. The Templars are defenders of the Temple of Solomon. Hmm, very strange. Another giveaway, the superior race theory. In one version you have the Untermenschen. In another version you have the Goyim. Or the useless eaters. Another detail. When Germany was bigger, the part of the Baltic states and Poland was called Prussia. Drop the P and you get Russia. Colors are black and white and the eagle. In case you think they are no longer here. So conclusion, Jerusalem is the capital city of the Teutonic Knights. Well, lately a lot of failed states are popping up in the neighborhood of Jerusalem.
Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram, Fatah, Hamas, ISIS, Islamic Jihad, Mossad, Pure Teutonic Symbology, Specialty is creating anarchy or people's revolutions. People ask a new leader and they get one, an even more brutal dictator. They are behind this crisis. Nazis here, Teutonic Cross there, doing the MK Ultra rituals. Visited by the man in black, and we have this symbol, of course. Specialty of the chef terrorism. Then you have Hitler, the V weapons, Werner von Braun, Disney, the moon landings, Teutonic Knights Jeff Bezos. Elon Musk and Sir Richard. All space agencies have the same triangle. Except Europe, they have the bigger Earth and the crater. So specialty 2 is space. When you say NASA, you say climate. The climate change. Here's some programming, the little girl with the dagger, Greta Thunberg, Teutonic Knight, Al Gore. So specialty 3, climate. Let's take a look at capital number 2, Rome. A lot of hospitals have their origins in churches or abbeys. The Catholic system. So it was obvious to me that we are talking about the Knights Hospitaller. The Sovereign Order of Saint John of Jerusalem or the Order of Malta. Specialty, well, it is all about the human body. You have the blue cross for animals, the red cross for people, or the green cross for pharma. In some parts of the world, pharmacy is called drugstore. And that is probably the right word. It starts with a tranquilizer for horses, and very soon it becomes a recreative drug. China. Afghanistan, we all know this story. Specialty of the chef, drug trade. By now we know that schools are indoctrination centers. Fake science, fake history, fake geography. Specialty number two, indoctrination. Probably responsible for all the religions. Typical for religion, they hate women. It's their fault we're not in paradise. So they deserve it to be sold as prostitutes. Oh, and they love children. But they hate organic people. Chopping off hands for their psychopathic king, organ trait, blood trait. So I would say their third speciality is human trafficking. Well, because the Knights of Malta are situated in Rome, in Italy, and you hear the words drugs, prostitution, human trafficking, that brings you to the Mafia. Who is the Godfather? When you take the word Malta, it only takes two letters. 
So I would say Rome, capital of the Knights Hospitaller. And now the third city, London or Babi London. Situated in England, you have the cross of the English flag of the city of London and the Order of the Garter. That brings us to the Knights Templar. That brings us to the City of London and the Bank of England. The Rothschilds. Origin of banking was Babylon. Evolving from the banking system are the corporations. The corpus of Ra. The body of Christ. So specialty number one. Banking. In London we have the BBC, the Skull and Bone Corporation, the Abracadabra Mind Control Machine, sports, movies, music, news. Specialty number two, propaganda. So that gives us the three knighthoods, Knights Templar, Knights Hospitaller and Teutonic Knights. So my guess is that London is providing the kings and queens, Rome the priest class and Jerusalem the military. So all our misery started with the arrival of the Ark of Noah. Noah had three sons and the crater was divided amongst them. This is the fake version, but it's all happening in the crater, of course. Accidentally, you have three bloodlines. Let's take the first one, Sem. You have the Ashkenazi associated with Babylon. Babylon on the Hereford map is lying north. Babylon is associated with Templar Knights. Then we have Japet. You have the Sephardic Jays. The Hispanic Jays. Spain is situated south on the Hereford map. Because Rome is situated on the same half of the map, these are the Hospitaller. Finally we have Cem, the Mizrahi Jays, the Oriental ones. These are the Teutonic Knights. Well, it seems to match. Let's say that the sons are actually tribes, so you have Three tribes, the Sem, the Cham, the Japet. Now what if Noah was actually the Pharaoh, leader of the three tribes? So if every tribe has a crown, put them together and you have the Tiara, crown of the Pharaoh, the representer of God on earth. The Fa of Ra on Earth. So my guess is that the Grand Master of London is the Queen. Grand Master of Rome is the Pope. But who would be the Grand Master of the Teutonic Knights of Jerusalem? The last one I'm pretty sure of was Hitler. So who would it be now? You come in power in a so-called democratic way. Pretty soon you start removing all opposition. You become ruler for life. And then you start expanding your country. 
But this is all because of an historical injustice against your country. In the meantime, as part of the game, your blood brothers are portraying you as a monster. A threat for world peace. Now the question would be, would there be a pharaoh or a godfather? And who would it be? Well, how would you obtain this crown? Well, there are three possibilities. By democratic vote, by bloodline, or through the reincarnation cycle. Well, you know the story of the Dalai Lama. Always the same person is coming back to Earth and is playing Dalai Lama. So the trick is to find him. Now if you take the story of Jesus being the son of a carpenter, he has not been voted and he is not in a bloodline. That leaves only one possibility through reincarnation. Well, there's a theory that Jesus was actually Julius Caesar. I think this theory is correct. And when you look at old medieval miniatures, you will see that Julius Caesar is a man with a beard and he is wearing the tiara. Let's take a look at the painting of Jan van Eyck, the mystic lamb, God Almighty, with a beard and a tiara. 23 stab wounds. No sign of crucifixion on this painting. That probably means it was painted before the flood of 1250. So what happened? Well, I think the papacy stole the year zero. By removing 450 years of Roman Empire and by inventing the crucifixion, they made themselves rightful inheritors of the tiara, the crown of the pharaoh. So this means that the Pope has two functions. He is the Grandmaster of the Knights Hospitaller and at the same time he is the Godfather. But then something strange is happening. In 1964 the Pope is donating the tiara to the poor. To the poor. Sure, I think the poor are the poor fellow soldiers of Christ. So what happened in 1964? Well, I took the history books and I found two possible solutions. One, the crowning of Constantine II of Greece, or a higher possibility, the birth of the fourth child of Queen Elizabeth. Edward. So who is Edward? This will probably be not a case of reincarnation, but bloodline. But why the fourth child? Looking at his medals, I could find no clue. Maybe it's the red hat? Reminds me of Pope Benedict. The Saturno. So if I'm right about this, this means that in 1964 the tiara moved from the Knights Hospitaller to the Knights Templar. This would make Edward Godfather. Let's go back to where I started with this 8 form, because I think they are recreating a new one, a bigger one. So what we need is three cities. One city is already very obvious.
New York is Babylon. Now what would happen with the Queen? The so-called Windsors. Would they all move to New York? Think not. It's clear to me they will be sacrificed. They are already in self-destruct mode. And this man will be king of an empty box. Okay, very well, but who will become the new Grandmaster? Just say the words. New York, Twin Towers, Banking, Propaganda, New York, Twin Towers, Banking, and Propaganda. Or should we say, Fake News. Q. All these stories are created by Grandmaster Trump. So Sleepy Joe is the hand doll of Trump. The Saturno. Meet the new Windsors, the Trumpensteins, or is it Trumpenstein? The moment you become Grandmaster, you visit your colleagues. Teutonic Knights, Knights Hospitaller, and then you say goodbye to the old bat. Did Trump break the royal protocol? Think not, because Trump is now Grandmaster and not the Queen. Trump arrived late. He refused to bow his head. And Trump turned his back on Her Majesty. This is the end of London as capital of the Templar Knights. But we need three cities. We already have one programming event, but we need another one. This all started in Wuhan. But what city would move to Wuhan? The speciality of the Knights Hospitaller is drug trade. So this looks like an event that is related to the Knights Hospitaller. So my guess is that Rome is moving to Wuhan. This is the end of the papacy. Wait a minute, wasn't there a prediction about the last pope? There was a prediction by a Benedictine monk, Arnold Wion. Well, very strange, it's like I'm hearing two words. Benedict and Wuhan. And this would precede the destruction of Rome. When we hear the word destruction, we think of some cataclysmic event. But this is about being the capital of the Knights Hospitaller. Then we have this very strange moment. Benedict is announcing his resignation. And this man supposedly took over. Can a Jesuit become Pope? I think not. I think the papacy was dissolved at the year 2013 with the resignation of Benedict. And this man, just like Charles, is the Pope of an empty box. At the funeral of Benedict, someone else was doing the rituals. Supposedly, the fake Pope could not walk because of an injury. But who would be the successor of the Pope? Who was in the picture during this crisis? I see three candidates. Fauci, Bill Gates, or Klaus Schwab. Did they do something special in 2013? This one, nothing obvious. When I did a Google search Bill Gates 2013, I got this one. What about this one? 
Well, the usual Davos reunion. 2013 is also the crowning of the Emir of Qatar. Crowning of Willem Alexander in the Netherlands. King Philip in Belgium. Well, for the moment I will keep it with Klaus Schwab, so I wonder. But then I remembered 2012. Were we wrong? My guess is that in 2012 the three grandmasters were replaced. The Queen, the Pope and probably at that moment Grandmaster of the Teutonic Knights, George Bush Sr. Replaced by Trump, probably Klaus Schwab and Putin. So was this the start of a new era? Let's go back to the three wise men. Accidentally you have three presents. What if the Ark was a machine of a highly evolved technological society? Three artifacts. Three bloodlines. Maybe three artificial intelligence. Accidentally you have three artifacts in the Ark of the Covenant. Let's do an experiment. You have the tower, the ziggurat and the pyramid. Put them on top of each other. Reminds me of Big Ben. The obelisk. The O, the Ba and the Ka. Then you have the word Lis. What would it be? Maybe it is the Fleur de Lis. Maybe that is the energy that is created by the obelisk. If you want to understand the universe, it is about energy, frequency and vibration. Vibration. In 2001, one artifact is moved from London to New York. And we get this event. Remember the incidents with the Ark of the Covenant. Where would it be? Well, probably the Church of St. Nicholas in New York. Frequency. 2019, one artifact is moved from Rome to Wuhan. Yahweh has morphed into Huawei. This frequency is creating an illness. Remember the incidents with the Ark of the Covenant. The plague of the Philistines. Then we have the third one, energy. When you fold the Teutonic cross, you end up with a ziggurat, human sacrifice. The dying souls on the battlefield. We have this Ukrainian war. Well, I'm not sure about this one. Is the artifact going to stay in Jerusalem or will it be transported to Ukraine? We already had an event in Ukraine, Chernobyl, when they were talking about Kherson, I had to think about Grand Zero or Giza. I don't know why, but I had a feeling they were going to create an event. Let's hope it's not going to happen. So my guess is there will be some kind of alignment. Well, before I go, let me draw your attention to Mr. Katai. 
I've been following him for quite a long time. His channel has been removed on YouTube. So for people who are into numerology, a very interesting channel. Links in the description box. Okay, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.